Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes I have a hard time speaking loudly, so I sometimes hold it too close and don't speak loud enough. Um, just want to welcome everyone out tonight. Uh, my name is Marcus Stuckett. I'm the Director of Engineering at Harris County Flood Control District. Um, I'd like to begin tonight by uh, saying Happy Veterans Day to all the veterans we have present. Um, and we'd like to thank you all for your service. Uh, tonight we have with us uh, Commissioner Rodney Ellis of Precinct 1 and um, several of his staff members along with staff members from Harris County Precinct 2. Um, I guess what I can do now is I, you would like it, Commissioner Ellis. I'll let you come up and say a few words. So, oh, that's loud. How's everybody tonight? So, now do we have any, uh, or anyone here who does not speak, uh, who speaks Spanish only? I think you know Spanish. Okay, so come on up and see if you can help. All right. Let me know if his Spanish is not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Commissioner Robert Ellis, and I'm glad to be here tonight and want to welcome you here. Commissioner Asia Garcia will be here shortly. He and I have worked very closely on projects from this area together. Commissioner Ellis, I'm going to say that here today is a test, 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 um, and those are all the things we want to bring to the system. Okay. According to my notes, you've been here, you're an estimated 11,830 homes flooded in the long haul by you, and that's why it's so important for us to focus on what we can do to improve this watershed. The reason is, it's all by the margin, it's kind of one of the five, right? It's for being in a and during the harvest in 2017, más casi los 12,000 domicilios fueron afectados por las inundaciones por por harvest. So, so based on those numbers, we know that many of you here are still suffering. You still have to deal with it. They are being on major repairs. You know, what we want to do as much as we can to help them as soon as possible. Yeah, 
Responsibilities are. Uh, that'll be followed by a presentation by the engineers uh, for the project. Uh, we have two separate projects that we'll present here tonight, and uh, that'll be followed by the breakout session where you all can come and meet us around the tables and ask questions if you need to. Uh, go ahead. So, the Harris County Flood Control District is a spe special purpose district that was created in 1937 in response to floods that devastated the Houston area in 1929 and 1935. Uh, we are, are a special purpose district that uh, we were created to leverage federal tax dollars to uh, develop flood damage reduction projects, and the Harris County Commissioner's Court serve as our board of directors or our governing body. So our mission, the mission of the Harris County Flood Control District is to provide flood damage reduction projects uh, with appropriate, that work with appropriate regard to community and natural values. Uh, what you see here is a map of Harris County. Uh, the different shaded colors are different watersheds. We have approximately 22 watersheds in Harris County. They make up approximately 1,800 square miles and about 22 linear miles of channel, which most of that is under the uh, Harris County Flood Control uh, District's jurisdiction. Uh, this is the watershed that we're in now. Uh, it's Halls Bayou, it's part of the Greens Bayou watershed, and the arrow there denotes about where we are within this watershed. 
Um, this map here sort of depicts the, the jurisdictions of the dis different city and uh, municipal districts along with Harris County Flood Control District and how we all kind of work together. So if you look to the left, you see uh, it says up there city municipal jurisdiction. Uh, those are going to be your neighborhood uh, drainage. That would be the roadside ditches, the storm sewers, uh, and the things that get it out of your neighborhoods into uh, what we have shown here in the shared jurisdiction, which would be a detention basin or in most cases for the older neighborhoods into the channel. So to the right, we have the Harris County Flood Control District jurisdiction that typically goes from about the top of bank of the channel to the top of bank on both sides with about 30 uh, feet on either side to give us a little bit of maintenance access. And in the middle here, we have a shared jurisdiction. And what that is, that's going to typically be the detention basin. And the way that we work with these other municipalities and cities is um, at the bottom here, you see a small pipe. When you increase the size of that pipe, it increases the flow. And our goal is to not impact others that are downstream of, of projects. And we do that by putting in detention basins. Uh, some of the features you'll notice here in, in, within this exhibit are uh, looks like a trail here uh, and playgrounds on either side. Those are some things that we kind of do to kind of support that community and natural values. But those things, are, those facilities are typically maintained by uh, another partner, partnering agency. So on August 25th, 2018, Harris County voters approved uh, a bond election to allow Harris County Flood Control District to develop approximately $2.5 billion in flood damage reduction projects. We identified approximately 237 projects across all watersheds, and 38 of those projects that uh, were identified were based on community input meetings, much like we have here tonight. So I'd like to stress it's important that, that you all talk to us, you let us know what you're seeing in the neighborhoods, because as engineers, we tend to look at things from a high level, and, and because we're not in the neighborhoods, there may be some things that we miss in our engineering uh, analyses. Those 38 projects accounted for about $400 million in, uh, of the $2.5 billion. We also identified $2.3 billion in partner opportunities for a total of about $4.8 billion that we would look to uh, spend on flood damage reduction projects. The type of projects that were identified were channel modifications, stormwater detention basins, channel maintenance, storm repairs, home buyouts, and engineering studies. Also, we identify some opportunities for us to uh, partner with other jurisdictions. So I talked about that $2.3 billion of partnership opportunities. Some of those par partnership opportunities come from some of the uh, agencies identified on the bottom of the map here, which, of course, the Army Corps of Engineers. We have the uh, United States Department of Agriculture, uh, Natural Resources Conservation. Uh, of course, one of our larger partners, FEMA. Uh, we also have uh, the Urban uh, Housing Development and the Economic uh, Development Administration. Uh, those uh, agencies typically fund a portion of the study or a portion of the work that we're doing, and the percentages are based on the type of grants or funds that are available with a local match from Harris County Flood Control District. The map is a little busy, uh, so I, I won't try to explain all of the, the different nuances within the map uh, here, but I'll be available in the back if you all have any questions about those. So again, we're here to present on two uh, projects tonight, one located just west of Artico, north of the bayou, and the other channel is the portion that's actually uh, south of the bayou, the portion north is identified as P-11825, and the portion to the south is identified as P-11823. And with that, I'll turn it over to the engineers. And, oh, and my other slide here. So <laughs> what this slide shows is uh, the life cycle of a project. Uh, when a project goes from the uh, conception of the, of the idea within the head or in the engineer's mind or the input that we got from the community, uh, we start by doing a feasibility study and that's the, the first stage where we, we sort of gather input, develop some alternatives that we could take into uh, what we call a preliminary engineering report, followed by design and then construction and ultimate uh, maintenance by the Harris County Flood Control District. So again, tonight we're here to talk about the feasibility portion. So we're early enough in the process where 
uh, things can change based on all the input that we, we gather from you all. And I'll turn it over to Brian. Uh, good evening. I'm Brian Zhang from IDCUS, and I'm the project manager for Channel P1 in 23 Alternative Analysis. This project is South part of the two projects for this public meeting. The project is located at Hot Spike and the Hardy Toll Road Crossing. Our two starter channels are P1823.00, which will be referred as West Channel, and P1823.02, which will be referred as East Channel. The red box boundary is our starter boundary, which is the sub areas for the two starter channels. Can you to my oh, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. This red box boundary is our starting boundary, which is the sub area for the two starting channels. The starting boundary is contained by Gulf Bend Road at north and Harley Toll Road at east. And you can see that I line drive at west and the Camino Road at the south. The some, uh, some water are collected by mostly roadside ditches and drains from south to north before draining to house by you. Majority of our starting boundary is in flood plain, which will be shown in the other slides later. The neighborhood subdivision includes a peak place, Belmark Estates, Assumption Heights, and also some other subdivisions that I may not uh, reference here. Uh, next slide, please. This project goes is to investigate source of the flooding concerns in the communities along P1823 tributary. Also want to identify and evaluate flood solutions suitable for the project. Want to recommend an alternative based on estimated benefit. Next slide, please. So why this area floods? First of all, this area is located in house by flood plain. House by does not have enough capacity during rainfall extreme event. Storm water will come out of bank and flood this area. Another flooding source is from west of the starting area. Uh, if you can click next one. Yes, you will see the uh, red, uh, red arrow there. And they, uh, this tributary does not have a, a, a flooding capacity either. Some water will come out of the bank and she flow to our area and make our flooding condition worse. I'm sorry. Our starting tributary, West Channel and the East Channel, do not have enough capacity either. And furthermore, there's a local drainage issue. Some local roadside ditches are undersized and need to be well maintained. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, in this slide, let's talk about the regional solutions. First of all, house bayou need to get uh, fixed. You know, we have the, the flooding issue of house bayou, and there is an ongoing house bayou uh, facing starting from Harris County Flood Control District. And also, insufficient channel capacity issue at the west of our starting area needs to be fixed as well. There is ongoing Harris County flood control starting for P1182700. We are also coordinating with the city of Houston to improve the local drainage issue. Our project will focus on these two channel improvements. And next slide, please. Uh, our project challenge, environmental permitting. Our project West Channel is under jurisdiction of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Channel excavation may require environmental permit. And also we have another uh, challenge is multiple pipeline crossings. To adjust the utility adjustment will uh, increase the project cost. Another challenge is a narrow right-of-way with encroachment, especially for East Channel with residential properties along the channel. Now let's talk about the East Channel, please. Uh, the existing East Channel starts from Carvey Road and goes north before connecting to West Channel. Total distance is about 0.8 miles. And you can see that the residential property is along the channel. So the right way is very tight. Also, there's a right way encroachment issue. The city of Houston also have ongoing railroad park drainage improvement, which will improve the existing roadside ditches. 
System Houston requires it to provide additional channel depth for each channel for their improvements. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, based on these factors, our recommended alternative for this channel is to provide concrete line channel with rectangular section. Uh, this picture is what we take from the other project, so our alternative will be similar to what's shown in this picture. We'll widen and deepen the existing grass channel with concrete to improve the channel capacity. This alternative will not acquire right away from adjacent residential properties. Next slide, please. Now let's talk about the white channel improvement. The existing white channel starts from Canino Road and goes northeast before connecting to House Bayou. Total distance of this project is about 1.5 miles. This channel is under jurisdiction of the US Army Corps of Engineers. And any channel uh, excavation may require environmental permit, which may require a considerable amount of time. Our recommended alternative is to provide detention basin to improve channel performance without channel excavation. Next slide, please. Our target goals to improve channel and system storage capacity. For each channel, we will propose up to four feet of additional channel depths. We'll provide additional channel depths to accommodate neighborhood drainage improvements. Harris County Flood Control District is in partnership with the city of Houston to compound the project benefit. Along the West Channel, we will provide up to 300 acre foot of detention basin storage. And a one acre foot volume equals to a football field with one foot deep of water. And that will be equal to 325,851 gallons of water. For the flooding risk reduction, we'll reduce flood risk for 300 structures, four miles of roadway, and 240 acres land. And we'll verify that no transference of the flood risk to the others. Uh, next slide, please. So where are we right now? We evaluated the channel improvement to increase the capacity. We evaluated it to provide detention basin storage. We verified that no transference of flood risk to others. And right now we are in partnership with City of Houston for the drainage improvement project. We coordinated with Harris County Precinct 1. Right now we are collecting public input. Next step, we'll select the recommended alternative. So I hand this over to you. Alrighty, thank you. My name is uh, Chris Edwards. I'm with Lockwood, Andrews and Newnham. I'm a project manager uh, serving on P11825. So we're gonna move to the north on the other side of Halls Bayou uh, and we'll talk about the project that we are uh, working on there. So our project, we're located, again, also west of Hardy Toll Road. We are north of Halls Bayou. Uh, we're serving the Oakland Place and Aldine Gardens, Aldine Village uh, subdivisions. Next slide. Very similar uh, to what you heard on the southern uh, tributary, P1823. Our project, we're looking to investigate to identify what are the major sources of flooding in our watershed for P1825. From there, we want to look and evaluate solutions that, that work, that are going to be able to help uh, alleviate those flooding risks, and also then to recommend an alternative based on the benefit. Can you guys not hear me? All right, thank you. Next slide. All right, so what we found so far, so why this area floods? The major source of flooding that we've noticed as we studied this area, which I imagine many, many of you guys are already aware of, uh, it comes outside of our watershed. What that means is it's not the local rain only that's flooding our area, but it's overflows from other undersized tributaries. The major source of overflow that we've identified comes from the north. This is from Green's Bayou that floods whenever the channel up north exceeds its capacity. Water overflows across uh, basically through y'all's neighborhood into our channel. The second source of what we call a minor overflow also occurs from the west. Uh, from another tributary, same story, whenever it, it's undersized, whenever we have a large storm event, the, water, the land generally wants to drain to the east. Um, anything that cannot be conveyed in that tributary comes to P1825 as well, causing issues uh, in our neighborhoods here. 
So very similar to, uh, uh, to Brian on P11823, there are several regional solutions. This isn't one project that can fix flooding, and this is why Harris County Flood Control in partnership uh, with the county, with the city, have, are pursuing multiple solutions uh, to address the flooding in the area. Some of those projects include Halls Bayou, the phasing study along the main channel. Uh, we've also got projects on P11826 to the west. We've also got the Greens Bayou Midreach projects to the north. And then the project that we're working on here, which is P11825. We're also in partnership with Precincts uh, 1 and 2 for different neighborhood drainage projects that are going to work to get the water from the neighborhoods into the channel. And then we will take that and, and convey it safely downstream. So some of the, the challenges for P11825, uh, as we already discussed first, you've got the overflows from the north and from the west that are coming into our tributary that we've got to deal with. We've got to be able to handle those. Uh, the channel itself has narrow right-of-way. There are encroachments. Uh, and there's areas where the channel is undersized, where it can't handle all of this additional flow. Uh, as with most of these projects, there are going to be environmental permitting challenges to make sure the solutions we provide uh, do not adversely affect uh, the environment. Uh, there's also multiple pipeline crossings in the way, which again, we just have to coordinate with those and make sure that we can either relocate those or come up with a solution that can work uh, with those as well. Next slide. Some of our target goals on our project, we are looking to provide increased capacity for a channel for P11825 as well as provide storage capacity through detention storage as well as through storage within the channel. Uh, we're looking to increase the size of the channel P11825. We're looking to provide a grass line channel in this solution uh, and up to around 35 acre feet of storage. So again, as Brian had mentioned, if an acre foot is the it's unit we like to use in, drain, in flood control, simply a football field, a foot deep of water, that's one acre foot. So when we say 35 acre feet, picture a football field 35 feet tall, and that's how much volume we're looking to provide. We've also got potential partnership opportunities with the precincts. Um, incorporating their local projects to where they're able to get the water to our channel. We provided the depth and the storage required so that we can receive that storm water without adversely impacting people downstream. So we do not transfer any risk uh, downstream. With these projects, we're looking to provide flood risk reduction for 450 structures, up to two miles of roadway, as well as 150 acres of land uh, removed from the floodplain. Where we're at in our study, we're in our alternatives analysis. This is our feasibility, uh, the feasibility portion. Uh, we are identifying the channel improvements. What do we need to increase the capacity? What are some detention storage options that we're looking for? Uh, we'll make sure that whatever we pro propose will not increase the risk of flooding downstream or upstream. Uh, we're also in partnership with uh, Harris County uh, to work with their projects as well. And then we're here today. This is the public input portion. We want to make sure whatever we propose, it actually lines up with what you guys see every day. And so please come speak with us. Anybody with a name tag, if you have questions and also if you have any input on where you guys see flooding, come talk to me. We want to make sure that our solutions will address your concerns. From here, we will then provide what we call a recommended alternative of how we want to move forward and then we'll move on to the next stages of the project. With that? This concludes the presentation portion of our meeting. We have information on our website. From tonight, we'll have the audio version of the presentation available as well. You can find the web links on your handout. So at the bottom of your handout, you'll have this information so that you can go online and find the presentation there. Um, we ask you to stay a little bit longer to visit with our open house. We have subject matter experts, our engineers are here to answer any questions that you may have. Let me let you know who is here. Of course, we have Harris County Flood Control District. We have Harris County Engineering Department. Y'all wave your hands. Recovery and Resiliency Division. Uh, we have Harris County Community Services Department. Jorge Maldonado is in the back. That program, they have funding for Harvey Recovery, so if you need some financial assistance with your uh, home rebuilding after Harvey, see Jorge Maldonado in the back. We have Harris County Toll Road Authority. Um, they have a table next to Jorge and the City of Houston Engineering Department. They're, they're next to Harris County Engineering Department. So please stand up and go and visit, ask your questions, make your comments and also visit the website. Thank you. Thank you.